analysis of variance ANOVA so ANOVA as I told you it is used to compare the mean between two or more but T or Z can only be used to compare mean between two so analysis of variance is a generalized class of that read it a statistical method for making simultaneous comparison between two or more means a statistical method that yields values that can be tested to determine whether a significant relation exists between variable or not in while comparing their mean they have a one example a car company wishes to compare the average petrol consumption of three similar model of car and has available six vehicles of each model so imagine there is a uh, uh, six by three matrix where the columns have three different cars and rows have six vehicles of each model okay and then we need to compare the like average petrol consumption based on their so average we can we can easily calculate or the other example is teacher is interested in comparison of average percentage that is the mean percentage marks attain in the examination of five different subjects and as available in the the marks of eight students who all completed each examination so imagine in any class like uh, if teacher want to compare the mean average percentage of marks between all these students of five different subjects in a class so if mean is there average percentage average petrol consumption that means a mean has to be compared and as mean has to be compared and there are more than two variables or more than two entity we have to use the analysis of variance in, into this case right what ANOVA looks at this way groups different internally versus the differences between them to take the above example okay let me come to okay first let's read it and then I will try to explain it what ANOVA looks at is this way the group the way group differ internally versus the differences between them to take the above example so what it does like I told you there are three types of cars car A car B and car C okay and car A have six uh, rows car B model of car B has six rows like we have six cars of model B six cars of model A and six cars of model C let's say so first what we do we calculate the mean of all the group combined that is known as overall mean then it calculates within each group the total deviation of each individual score from group mean within group variation next it calculates the deviation of each group mean from overall mean that is known as between group variation so that so in ANOVA we actually calculate two group variation first we calculate the overall mean so overall uh, like overall mean is compared by taking the average of all 6 plus 6 plus 6 18 cars okay average of 18 cars that is the overall mean then it calculate within each group the total division of individual score from the group mean so for car A what is the variation for car A in the six class six cars and same with model of car B the variation between within the group and model of car C variation within the group now it calculate the deviation of each group mean from the overall mean between group variation and as now the variation comes into the picture so ANOVA use F test I told you F test is used to compare the variation so in ANOVA F test does what it compare the between group variation within the within group variation and then based on the F test value you say that whether we, sh we the average of all the models are can be supposed to be equivalent or different so let me explain you this phenomena in a little better way right okay let's say you have this matrix where the genders, gender dosage alertness are there okay we have 
16 observation of each right they all must be the numerical value because we are going to use the mean and variance and mean and variance can only be applied on quantitative data right so if you come across gender kind of situation try to convert into dummy variable like give male value as 1 and female value is 0 or vice versa like you can take any of the value but an analysis of variance can only be applied on a quantitative data because you need to calculate mean and variance so be careful with that okay so and that's how we use the analysis of variance that is what the analysis of variance ANOVA is a particular form of statistical hypothesis testing heavily used in analysis of experimental data. A statistical hypothesis test is a method of making decision using, using data that we talk about like uh, the, ex, uh, the flow chart that I showed you. It's, it's like that only. A test result calculated from the null hypothesis and the sample is called statistically significant. It is deemed unlike to have occurred by chance. Assuming the truth of the null hypothesis, a statistically significant result when a probability is less than threshold, which is called significant level. I told you, significance level depends on the business need. Whether it's a 5% or 1% or 0.0% depends on the business need. Justification the reason, the reaction of the null hypothesis, but only if the prior probability of the null hypothesis is not high. So maybe you, you would be understand in a better way when you read something about the hypothesis testing and other concept. That is why in today's class I will not go uh, the practical aspect of this ANOVA and other things. I will cover it in the next class. It's only a five maximum five minutes it would take. But I would explain you how to calculate the within variation and uh, between group variation. It's very easy. We'll discuss that when you talk about the logistic integration, the things, this particular table, like dosage, residual, degree of freedom, sum of, sum of square, mean sum of square would be more clear to you. I think uh, we have talked about the degree of freedom, right? So you have an idea, the general idea of what is the degree of freedom, right? Anybody? Okay right you you have the degree of freedom so degree of freedom uh, is what degree of freedom is something that in a statistical point of view let's say data has n points and it it do not have any statistical constraint over that statistical constraint like mean median variation these are the statistical constraints so if absence of any statistical constraint the degree of freedom would be n okay because n data points can take all all of the n data points have uh, can take any value but if one statistical constraint like we know that the mean of n data points is 1000 in that case there is one statistical constraint so degree of freedom would be n minus 1 into that case let's say we also put a more statistical constraint called variation so that the degree of freedom would be n minus 2 and so on the degree of freedom would be lesser and lesser as more and more statistical constraint would put on the data. So keep that in mind. I will come across these things uh, again. Sum of square, I should tell you, it is a way of calculating variation. But when we talk about variation, variation is always calculated between the value and the mean. Okay? So uh, we will talk about that later on. But keep those, all those things in mind. ANOVA is a synthesis of several ideas and it is used for multiple purpose as a consequences it is difficult to define concisely or precisely like it's a different example ANOVA is used in during the logistic integration as well 
even in R, we have ANOVA test in StatsX rather. So ANOVA test is used to compare the different models as well. So ANOVA is not only work on using the calculating the mean, but is try to cover up the checking the model performance, different model performance as well. So things would be more clear when we work on linear logistic regression model, right? So F test is used to compare the variation variation between explained variance and unexplained variance. So in ANOVA we take the F, F, F test based on the within group variation to the between group variation. So uh, it is actually we are comparing the variation and based on that we'll uh, you know accept or reject the null hypothesis. But before any practical aspects on these tests I uh, suggest you to please read the basic understanding of all these tests like Google or Wikipedia would be sufficient uh, for initially uh, for the initial purpose right so please read all those things t-test, z-test, hypothesis testing, one way, two way type 1 error, type 2 error in, in this week and uh, the, the things would be more easier to, to explain. 